Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia in Spain. The concept nature is important to us. For us humans, nature is something difficult to grasp. It's vast, complex, unpredictable, indifferent to human needs and sometimes we can even see it as a threat. After eight months of drought we had a lot of rain and it came from a DANA, D-A-N-A -A, system and it is when in the atmosphere there is a depression that isolates itself from what is happening in the atmosphere and that can deposit enormous amounts of water and this is what happened here we had 52 liters per square meter in just over an hour thankful happy a little bit shocked Today life is different. We are used to 42 degrees Celsius and now it is 22 degrees Celsius. In Andalusia five times more people die of sudden spells of very low temperatures than high temperatures. So it looks like the heat is not that bad for humans. The cold is worse. Emotions are signposts telling us that our mind has to operate on a new system. Something has changed. So for me, I'm totally out of my depth right now because I was in such a pattern to irrigate, to care for whatever was planted. It's almost a sense of loss of the pattern I had. But I'm very sure I will get used to it. This is the northeastern swale system. This is the end of it. The water from the erosion canal did not reach the end. It all got absorbed. I will walk my way up to the top where the water enters the land. So the water did arrive here but little. This is the seventh swale. Here we have uh, some lemongrass, moringa, and then also um, olive. So the water came here, not too much. This swale was completely full. And then this one was full overflow this way. So this now carries on. The one <coughs> overflows into the next one. Paulovnias look very happy. I haven't seen the leaves so full ever. The higher I go, the bigger trench I had to make because there was more water and the lower, more absorption took place. Infiltration into the earth. Here a lot of water came down. Asparagus is happy. Still some standing water here.
I anticipated a lot of flow here. It went about a meter wide. That's why I had a rock there and some cement, concrete. It did very well. Some standing water in this swell. some movement of the earth I will have to put some stones in here very happy that this soil dam wall stayed worked the water used to leave here and not a drop went through there some water lots of silt lots of mulch trapped in all these obstructions the water clearing already when the particles settle I'm very proud that this system worked I had control over the flow of the water and uh, it's a big thing to say nature doesn't follow my patterns some water not a leak I'm happy And then the inlet, the culvert under the road. System one. Let's see what else happened. Between the two culverts on the southern border, I have these Wolofnias. And this whale is still full of water there are some signs that the deer came last night I put out a few obstructions and when the obstructions are changed I know that they were there and then I can find the droppings so far they're not interested in my Pavlovnias. Let me make my way to the creek. The other culvert. A lot of water came through here. It comes from the watershed, the mountain and uh, not from the road or the road perhaps as well but mainly from the mountain so the water came through here lots of mulch and then the infiltration system starts here there must be a fountain somewhere here I um, I have not entered all these chambers of the infiltration system. It's not my kind of thing. Anyway, the cistern has already increased its water capacity by 15 centimeters, which is quite a lot, and I'm happy. Coming down the creek to Boulders waterfall and then the gabion that I have constructed. It created a huge pool here because of all the 
mulch that blocked this gabion and then the water went down here this is just below the rickety bridge and whenever after the rain next few days there's always water in this area almost like a fountain also a gabion the side rocks stood their place and then the soil dam wall disaster but I'm very thankful that I could learn from this um, I will have to rethink the way I expect the amount of water that can come down this creek what a beautiful reminder almost in the middle of the property we have this system of swales there at the end is the entrance of the water system diversion system from the dam from the culvert and then one two three swales already and then it actually carries on Acacia Karoo Wachalia Karoo They were two centimeters high when I planted them and now they are almost a meter and a bit I'm happy this pumpkin is doing its thing and then the swell continues the soil here is loam it's not this heavy clay so it absorbs a lot of the moisture some water did come in here but it didn't stay long all absorbed so this is the end of this swale system but the new one should start just here and then run west this whole area has been cleared already and uh, I must decide whether I pay attention to the swale or to a pond so this must go right to the end even this hara sisters bush are reviving it's amazing they shed all these millions of seeds they had and now they are reviving themselves this is high resin content in the leaves beautiful day cloudy some uh, weather the weather forecast indicates some more rain but very little till next time goodbye